now that we have chosen the samples that we wanted to use, the next thing we need to do is actually edit the samples. Now this window right here was actually open. All I did to close it is come up here to the loop box and click on it and it gives you a full display of the actual project window. Same thing if you go over here and click off of your library, sound library, you can see more of your project window that way. But um, let's talk about these editing techniques. Now the, f the first thing I wanna teach you is how to copy and paste. This is a very important technique that you need to learn. Now, the first thing you need to do in order to copy and paste is understand that um, wherever you push this playhead or this little line right here is where your audio is going to be um, pasted after you copy it. Okay, so say if you copy this file right here, if your playhead is right here, then this loop is going to be pasted right here. Okay, and let me show you what I'm talking about. It's very simple to copy and paste. So all you have to do is highlight it or click on it. Okay, so you click on it like that, or you can come over here and right click and highlight like that. Or you're actually gonna be doing left click. But um, you can come over here to edit, do the copy, okay? And then see where your playhead is. If you go over here to edit and then push paste, it's going to automatically be put right over here where the playhead is. Now, the reason why it actually would paste up here instead of down here is because this track wasn't actually uh, selected. So if you select this track and then push, go to edit and push um, paste, as you can see, this file right here is placed right here. So those are the things you want to keep in mind is that you first off select the track that you want to be, you know, to copy and paste, then select the actual file then move the playhead to wherever you want it to be placed in your in the in the project window, okay? And then push then go to edit and paste it. All right? So now there's some hotkeys in order to do this as well. If you go ahead and click on the audio file and push command C on your keyboard, that copies and if you push command V, let's say we want to paste it right here. That paste the uh, audio file right there. Okay, so we talked about copying. Now let's talk about deleting. It's very simple. All you have to do is just come right here in the in the uh, workspace window and highlight the files you want to delete. And you can go over here to the edit and push delete. Okay. Now another way to delete is to actually click it and then push delete on your keyboard. Very simple. Now let's say that you delete something or you you yeah, you know, you made a mistake and you want to undo that. You can come over here and go to edit and click on undo undo right here or you can use the hotkey which is command Z. So let's use the hotkey command Z. And you can keep pushing it and then as you can see, you know, you have your loops here. But we don't want those in the track. So what I'm gonna do is delete those. So, so far we know how to copy and paste and we also know how to delete. Now we need to know how to trim, okay? Now we have this right here, this drum loop is too long, okay? We just want to have this, the length of uh, eight bet measures or eight bars for our loop. So what I would do in order to trim this is just highlight it by left clicking and then highlighting or I just click right here on the audio file or the MIDI file if, you have, if you're using the MIDI file. Go over here, or first off, move the playhead to the place that you want to actually trim. Think about if you had some scissors, if, if, if this was like you know a piece of cloth or a piece of paper and you wanted to cut right here, that's where you would move your playhead. And then you're gonna go to edit and come down here to split region at playhead. All right, now you can take this and you can move it wherever you want to in your workspace window or the project window, it's a, another word to use, uh, or you can simply delete it. Okay, now I'm gonna push um, undo, so Command Z, and boom. Now so let's say that I want to, uh, you know, trim this in a quicker fashion. What I would do is move the play here to where I want to trim it, click on it, and then push Command T. Command T is a hotkey to, you know, to trim it. Okay, you can push delete on your keyboard. 
Now you have a, um, you know, saying a very well organized loop here. You can use this also after we actually track out or arrange this loop into a song. We'll be going more into that later in another lecture. The last thing I want to talk about here is joining together two pieces of audio or two pieces of, uh, of a loop. Now, as you can see here, I can move this simply right here and move this around. But what if I wanted this to become one region? OK, what you would do is you would highlight both of these and then go up to to edit and join regions. But I'm going to teach you the hotkey to do it. So it actually is command J. So think join. Join starts with a J. If you push command J. It's going to ask you this question right here. Don't worry about this. It's just asking you if you want to join those regions. Push create. And now you have a full region here. Instead of this being two is one. These are very important editing features that I wanted and techniques that I wanted to teach you. Um, in the next lecture, we're going to be going more into the creation process. So thank you so much for watching.